In this video, I'm gonna show you how the different pieces of the Beaver Builder tool set work together and uh, just give you a quick look at how you can use them to create different pages and where all the kind of basic default settings are at that you can modify to get your site looking good quickly. All right, so there's several different components. There is the Beaver Builder plugin which is active by default. And what that allows you to do is to modify everything in a content area of, uh, of a page. So Beaver Builder, the plugin right here, works inside of any theme. Um, it doesn't require the Beaver Builder theme, which we are using. It works inside of any theme. So that piece particularly would be if you wanted to edit this area. So the Beaver Themer is what allowed us to modify the header and footer. Beaver Builder theme is what we're using overall for everything, but Beaver Builder plugin allows us to modify this area here. And that's if you're on any page and you click Page Builder, that's going to take you to Beaver Builder the plugin so that we can modify that page content here. So it looks like we've got some demo content in here already. Um, I'm going to remove all this and show you how I actually built it so that you'll have a better understanding of how this tool works. So by default, you'll have a blank slate here. You can add content over here by clicking this and this will slide out and we'll give you a couple of options. So you can add rows and columns. You can add actual modules to those things. So the first thing we're going to do for the home page, I think we should create a hero area and I'll just show you the super easy way to make that happen. And then we're going to throw in three buckets below that for our three different you know main pieces of the site and that should give you an idea of how this stuff works you can then go look up all the different modules on the beaver builder sites and see the demos of those and choose whichever ones are going to be good for your project all right so to start with let me get a single column row out here and so notice now I've got these two cells this is my content area basically and this is my row so this is my one column inside of there I want my row to stretch full screen to give me that nice big hero effect. So I can go full width and you'll notice that it will expand it. So now it's all the way out to the sides. My content area is still in the middle. I think that's okay. Um, so let me get my background image is going to be a part of the row. So I edited the row and come down here to background, select photo and then actually go select my photo, which I've already got some stuff in the media library. Let's just use this one. And now you see it's taken up the whole background there. That's pretty sweet. Um, so let's leave that and I'll show you how to make some additional changes here soon. Uh, so typically in a hero, we're gonna have, you know, our big tagline, a little sub description and a button. So let me show you how to add those quickly. Heading is going to allow you to easily add anything h1 through h6 i believe to any part of the site so this is my big tagline hey yo all right so we see that's a little hard to read i don't need it to be a link so let's go to my style and let's change that to white so maybe it's a little better Mm, still a little hard to read so maybe there's something else we can do what if it just goes straight to black mm, still hard to read all right so we're gonna adjust something else in a second to make that a little bit better uh, I do want it to be larger though so let's make it the h1 since it's the tagline and let's go ahead and center it so by default it's gonna use the size for the headings that we have set as a default and I'll show you where to change those here in just a minute. You can also or individually change the size of the heading in each heading module. For now, I'm going to leave it as it is and move on to the next piece. So let's add a little sub description up under it. We are the helpful helpers helping others. So again, a little hard to read. Let's go ahead and make it darker. Let's leave it as an H3. Let's center it and we'll save. 
And then, like I said, we'll have a button. Maybe we want people to learn more, and it will take them to the second page. So I can just drop my button module right here. It's going to use the default accent color, which I'll show you how to change in just a minute. Let's change this to learn more. And let's link this to, let's link it to our about page. Since I know that that exists, same window. And then styling, we can change all this manually, but I'm going to show you the accent color in a minute and that may take care of it. Width is auto, that's good. Let's align this in the center with everything else. You can change the font size here if you need to. We're just going to leave it. So a couple things here. It's still kind of hard to read, and I think we could increase the height of it a good bit. So two things we're going to do is an overlay on the background image and add some padding to the top and bottom of this thing, or some margin. So edit my row. Notice here we have background overlay. So here we can select a color. We can do darker. We can do white. So maybe this is the right solution with the darker text. Um, you can do it however you like. And then to make a change to our height there, let's see if this is the right thing. No, it's not. I knew that. So let's make this like 100, make this like 100. And then now I've got a little bit more space there. We'll leave a little bit down here so people know that there's something going on down there. All right, so under this row, we want something that has three buckets in it. So what I'm gonna do is go to row layouts, add a three column row below our header row. Let's go ahead and make it full width just so that the responsive behavior acts the same as the header. And we'll leave our content boxes the same. And so here typically what we'd see on most websites, we're gonna have a heading, an image and a button or a blurb. Um, so we'll say that this is like, you know, about us. We can leave it as an H3. I think that's cool. And then let's say we want to have another photo below that. We can select a photo from our image library. We're going to change the size to 300. We don't want to crop. We want to align left. And that should be pretty good. Let's go ahead and align this guy to the center. And let's grab our little lorem of some text here and add that to the just below it. So obviously this stuff could be tidied up a little bit more. You know, we can really stretch out this image a bit. Let's go ahead and make it centered again since everything else seems to be. And we'll center this text. You can style this and clean this up as needed, but what I would do here is probably just copy my header drag it over to here, go ahead and copy it one more time, drag it over to here. Same thing with my image module. And my text. And then there I've got it. So then maybe this one is who we serve, geez, who we serve, and then this one is something about how to help. We can take people to a donate page. So there's the same, we would change the image on all of these, so we can just replace it with this guy, make sure we're using our 300. And then same thing here. And our text is kind of hard to read. We're going to change that. 
I would also say we would want to link probably the header and the image to whatever we're going to do there. So from here, let's select about. Same window. And then let's do that same thing here where we can link to a page about. You want to do that to all three of them. So now we've got kind of a home page coming together. This is super basic. Hopefully you guys with your great design skills will be able to do something a little more robust. Um, and there's also existing page templates that I'm going to show you how to use, which may make all of this styling much easier. But now you should have a decent idea of how this works. So let's publish that and then go to our customizer and look at some more stuff.